You are looking live at Camp Randall Stadium in Madison, Wisconsin for the marquee Big Ten matchup of the season. Tonight will be the first time Ohio State will have to deal with a truly intimidating environment. Underway. David Gilraith from the three. 25, 30, 35, explodes midfield. A chance to return the opening kickoff for six. He'll take it to the house. 97 yards. David Gilraith, the senior from Minneapolis. like the shotgun to start things out. Boom Heron is the running back to his left and Pryor is going to throw on first down complete for a first down right there. It is now first and 10 after that pass and option look late pitch to Heron over his head ball free out of bounds Buckeye football at the 30 but that's a loss. It's third down and a bunch. That is saying number three. Looks it for him and then goes downfield, goes up over the top, and was it intercepted? Incomplete, out of bounds. Second down and six. Come right back with Clay into the middle, first down. Hayward is down on second and five. Quick screen, first down, and Nick Toon at the Buckeye 30 yard line. There's that look again, and Clay explodes across the 15-yard line. Clay is still there in that deep set on first and 10 in the red zone. They come behind, touchdown. Badgers go up two scores on the number one team in the country. The Badgers are taking it to Ohio State, much more physical. Both Heron and Sane. Pryor just keeps it all the way, and nobody lays a hand on him until he reaches. Third and seven for Pryor in the box. He's going to take off and try to run for it. Bangs for it. But he continued, and he almost put himself in coverage. Pulls out on third and ten. And a great grab, just shy of a first down by Sonsenbacher, who made this great catch off the injured list. So let me correct myself. And that ball's down the ground. Will that be ruled incomplete? I think they'll take a look at that. The receiver did not have firm control of the ball going to the ground. Therefore, by rule, the pass is incomplete. They flash it to the outside to Nick Toon, his second reception. Second down and nine. He moves right over to the other side. Keep it up. He's looking to the right. Fires high and complete. You can see the size and Clay checks back in. The 255 pounder replaces. He gets the first call. Middle got another first down. Good receiver we have pointed out. Checks in on this third down play. Tolzien looks the other way and it'll depend on the spot. Straight ahead. Peter Kahn's is a sophomore from Nina, Wisconsin. We get started here with the second quarter. And White, the freshman running back, flares out. Tolzien on the move. And wide open. And that's the young man who returned to kickoff. David Gilreath. Over the top for Clay for his second touchdown of the night. A shocker in Madison. We are back now for third and nine for Terrell Pryor and the Bucks. He is 0 for his last five, three of nine overall. Flushed, eludes a tackle, reaching for the first down, and he's got it as he steps out of bounds. Second down and five. And a 
big hole for a first down. Heron into the red zone. Heron, the junior from Warren, Ohio, gets the handoff again and tries to break the daylight in the end zone. Just short of it. Here's Pryor running all the way, cut back and stop. Now they split him off to the side on third down and goal for Ohio State. Pryor, and he won't make it. And suddenly it is fourth and goal. Sorensen, St. Jean, to attempt this field goal. And the one-time MLS soccer player. They had him beat on an out and up. They just weren't able to execute. That's Tolzien's first incompletion. And they come battering back with big John Clay. White replaces Clay. There's that flash screen now to the outside in tune. He picks up another first down. The senior now with a quick changeup at the line on second and 15. Keep it open! Keep it open. Has plenty of time and throws an interception. Picked up by Sweat. And he has given the Buckeyes a chance at the 40-yard line. I think a late flag came in there as well, Brent. I think they want to see how he handles the number one team, the pressure to succeed, and now being behind, the stakes get even higher. You're 100% right. Here comes third down and nine for Terrell now, and he's sacked. Sacked back at the 29-yard line. That was J.J. Watt, and what a story this young man is. Once a tight end over at Central Michigan, Transferred back, walked on, and here he is. And the right tackle, J.B. Shugarts, just whiffed. 45-yarder. No good. Let me follow up on J.J. Watt's amazing journey. Gave up that scholarship at Central Michigan. Had to pay his own way, and his parents ponied up $20,000 delivered pizza, and finally earned a scholarship. He wants to play someday in the National Football League and buy his parents a home. The Buckeyes and Boise, I mean, I should say Oregon and Boise State, one and two. Look at, look at TCU. They, uh, they won their game. See if Jim Trussell can bring the Buckeyes back. John Clay with a huge first half, 88 yards and two touchdowns. So not a lot of success downfield tonight for Pryor. Hemer moves in at defensive tackle, and there is Watt again. Second sack of the night as Brandon Sane comes in. Look at the size of those mitts. Third down and eight. Plenty of time, no receiver. Now in trouble again, and Watt is picked off. And that allowed Terrell Pryor. Herbie, let's take a look at these hands of Watts. Well, you know, and for his size, one of the great things you see from defensive linemen is they use leverage, and they're able to use their hands. And J.J. Watt at 6'6", 295, definitely uses his hands and his quickness to play, make plays against the run and also pressure Pryor when he drops back the throw. Second down and nine. Now Pryor's going to back out. Got a man wide open and a great grab by Sanzenbacher. Sane checks in. Terrell will follow him, and Sane makes a good seal block, and it's a first down. Terrell Pryor up at the top of your screen, and here comes Heron. Looking for daylight end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State. Second time tonight that Jim Trussell has called the kickoff here tonight. They've been using it from scrimmage. Tolstein sees man coverage on the outside. Keep it up, man. Looking to get after it. Comes back inside, and he did just that, Herbie. Nick Toon. All right, Reese, and here it is third down and two for the Badgers. Lead at 21-10. Short. Good defensive stand. Second and 11, and back to pass. Diving reception for the first down by Posey. Going to keep it in the air. Pryor runs to the Sanzenbacher. Working that far. Sane is on the field. Delays and comes out. And Terrell Pryor takes off. Throws it back. Middle and then cut by Sanzenbacher for a first down. Find the football and going up and making that catch. 
Sanzenbacher with two fine catches this half. Cut back by Terrell Pryor, what he does so very well. The Wisconsin Badger tradition between the third and fourth quarter. But tonight, jump around has a wrinkle. Take a look at the Ohio State Buckeyes sideline. They all started jumping around. In the first half, when he got down here on third and... Let's see what he does here. Needing three, keeps it on the ground, and got the first down. Make it eight straight. Touchdown, Heron. Mike Adams and Justin Boren on the left side. Here's Pryor, going to pull back, fire back side. Got it, a two-point conversion. Reed Fragel, his first catch of the night. And here, Reese, the number one team in the nation, trying to come all the way back. Once down 21 nothing, And they slip it through to Nick Toon. John Clay back in the game. And they throw quickly to the outside. And that receiver, Nick Toon again. Freshman from Fort Lauderdale. Gilreath comes through the formation. Tolzien, time, middle. First down, and it was the youngster, James White. Second and four, White again, off the left side, got the first down. And when in doubt, Brent, run to the left side with left tackle Gabe Karimi. Jim McKnight of USC, the last 100-yard rusher against these Buckeyes. And here comes White, going in zone, touchdown! making a poor read if he just looks a little bit off-centered and he's throwing the football a little awkwardly there. You wonder if the pressure and him having to pass is creating that. Fourth down. Play action. Paul Chris whistles up a pass, fires middle. Wide open! What a play call! Pedersen, the tight end! And Hines makes the stop. Third and ten. 427. Tolzien in trouble, and now fourth down, and let's see what Bielma elects to do here. Nails it. You, th you typically think of Missouri, you think of offense, but their defense will challenge Oklahoma. Prior short of the first down. J.J. Watt. And he makes his play. They move him to the middle, Brent. He's a defensive end, but I think they were anticipating Prior on a quarterback draw. Great decision that time by Dave Doran, lining him up over Brewster, the center, and his quickness got around Brewster. Diving catch by Posey. Let's see where the mark is. Right at that first down mark. Picks it up. came in and waved it waved off. Waved it off. Yeah, the umpire waved it off. Trussell asking for an explanation. He's sitting on the edge of his seat right now. Jackson Hinkins. After further review, the receiver had firm possession of the yeah. ball for a catch, giving Ohio State a first down. Going down again, J.J. Watt. Well, now they move him to the outside, and he just manhandles Mike Adams, gives him a move, and works to the inside. You talk about a combination of skills. Incredible quickness for a man of his size. Second and 21. Down the middle, Sanzenbacher for a first down for the Bucks. Intercepted. Let the party begin in Madison. Blake Sorensen has intercepted Terrell Pryor with 113.
and come tomorrow, there will be a new number one. Really, really big win for Wisconsin. And, and Brett, I think you and I agree, for Brett Bielema. Thoughts across the field for the handshake with Brett Bielema. And some of the students making their way onto the field. Oh yeah, they're gonna come. They're definitely gonna come out here and celebrate. It is something to celebrate when you pick off number one in this situation. And do it the way they did it tonight.